Hello everybody, Waring here. And I guess I made a mistake, and I've made mistakes in the past, and I will make them in the future because I am human after all. But uh, today's subject is gonna be something that I wrote down and I'm gonna read from it. Usually when I talk to you guys, it's off the cuff, I see what's on my mind, and there it is. So let's go on with it. Today's subject is gonna be hate and hatred. There's no stronger emotion than hate. Hate will make a person kill off anything it hates. If not literally, it will do it in other ways. Hate will shut down a person's ability to reason soundly. Hate will blind a person to the joys of the world around them. Hate is only good for one thing and one thing only, and that is destruction. Hate destroys anything it meets, if not countered by understanding. Hatred f comes from misunderstanding or envy. Our society was built on hatred. Hatred for what others have that they don't. Whether you earned it or achieved it through hard work, people will hate you and be envious of what you have. Hate and envy can be put together as one of the most destructive forces there are because of the strength of the emotion. Misunderstanding also causes hate. Believe it or not, being too nice causes hatred. That is helping others. People don't like to see others better themselves if it means that those people trying to better themselves leave the others behind. Hate only does one thing and one thing only and it destroys. Hate can be used to control people. Spreading false rumors about a race of people or other people in general has been used by governments to bring them what they want, which was their property or other things in life. The races are separated by hate. Each generation teaches the next by the actions of hate. Until we as a people learn to combat hatred we will always be at each other's throats. Egged on by those that know the power of hate. How long will we be pawns of those using this power? The politics of America is a good example of the current time. Hate is destroying everything that Dr. Martin Luther King, Gandhi, the Dalai Lama, and others have given their lives for. They say that we are one. That is a falsehood. The only people that are one are the ones hating the others. The rest of us are only trying to live our lives on this planet in harmony. And that's the key. If, if we can all live in harmony, there will be no need for the governments or even nations. That's why they keep us this way. Being free of hatred is being free of control. And isn't that what life is about anyway? So that being said, guys, um, I'm not going to be posting any vlogs for a while. I'm just going to go ahead and sit back and let's see what happens. And if uh, it goes the current way it is, it's been nice being able to share the information with you. And I wish that I'd be able to go on. But the problem is, is that there are fear mongers out there and there are people that, that hate just because of the color of my skin or the color of your skin, whoever's watching out there. And the sad thing is, is that you can't go anywhere with that. You can't go anywhere with that. All it's going to do is just tear down whatever productive things that you want to do. So it's been nice sharing things with you guys. I'll still be out there looking at your guys' videos and, and learning from what I see out there. But unfortunately for me, um, my batteries are drained. And... I was taking time out of my busy life to try to help you guys out. And the ones that, that do want to uh, have my message, you know, you can go ahead and, and send me a message and, and I will respond to you. But as far as posting on the YouTube for a while, uh, no, dudes, uh, I'm done. I'm sorry. This, I got too burned out. It's just how it is. You know, you, you help people. And because you send a message that they don't like to hear, you know, because they... 
they don't want to go out there and help themselves. You know, it's like a, I was saying that was given to me when I was younger. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Well, you know what, guys? Get out there and pull your fucking asses out. Sorry about the language. But get yourselves out of the bootstraps. Quit depending on your parents. If you're 30 years old, live at home. All right? You know, that's sad. I can understand if you're physically unable. You have a, 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 a physical ailment, like you've got a broken arm or lumbago or... You can't walk, and then you got to stay home. But just because you're afraid to go to the store, you know what? That's bullshit. I'm tired of hearing that. So I appreciate you guys listening to my little ranting a little bit here. But, you know, you guys got to help yourselves too. And quit feeling sorry for yourselves, all right? That's one reason why I can't go on this way because I, I never felt sorry for myself because you can't do anything feeling sorry for yourself. So, you guys have a good life, and those that want to hear my message, please respond. And those that uh, are glad to see me gone, well, you know what? You haven't won. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just not wasting my time with you guys anymore. So, always remember, it's too strong to fight alone. Bye.